Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Uh, the crawler that is going to be carrying the SLS uh, program. I'll just let you know a little bit about the crawler since we're kind of celebrating its 50 years. Um, the crawler concept started back in early 1963. Uh, Marion Parrow and Shovel out of Ohio got commissioned to start building the crawler out in Ohio. And later on around late 1964, they brought it out here to Merritt Island to finish the completion of the construction. Uh, the first time the crawler what powered on its own was January 23rd, 1965. So that's where we get that 50 year anniversary. It was the first time it ran on its own power. Uh, so a little bit of uh, what the crawler did and carry. Um, the Apollo program, Saturn V, the first time it was in August of 1966. It carried Apollo 4 uh, out to the pad and followed by in uh, 1960. 1979, the first time it carried the Enterprise shuttle, which is a prototype shuttle with uh, two inert uh, solid rockets out to the pad for a FET check. And in December of 1980 was the first time uh, SLS shuttle program was carried out to the pad for Columbia's first launch. So that's kind of a quick rundown of the crawler and its shuttle program. Since then, for 30 years, it carried the shuttle program. Uh, that brings us to here. After the end of the shuttle program, the crawler was selected to continue to carry the legacy of the space program. So we took it down about three years ago and looked at the entire crawler knowing that SLS is heavier. Upgraded some of the controls now. The drivers are able to see and mount monitor all the systems before he had to rely on listening to the control room. Now he can actually see and monitor a lot of the system himself without having to ask. He still has his headphones. He has to rely on the rest of the engineers in the control room, but he has a lot more visibility. Also, we added some laser guidance, but you know, it's an additional you know, aid for the drivers to be able to get into the, the, the VAB up on the, on the pad without uh, too much difficulty just helping them. Uh, the locomotive engines uh, for the por propelled motors, that they were not replaced. I think that the uh, USA and TOS following them have done a great job taking care of them for, for the last 50 years and we just did some fine, just some tune-ups to that. But quite a few of the systems that just required some additional tune-up but not, no major, major renovation. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero.